Oh, him? Yeah. I know him. It's going to take a while. It happened years ago. Did you know there are three kind of aces? Those who seek strength, those who live for pride, and those who can read the tide of battle. Those are the three. And him? He was a true ace. He was a fighter pilot they called Solo Wing Pixie. He was a colleague of the man I seek. Ten years ago, there was a war that engulfed the world. The Belkin War. And in that war was a pilot who trailed across the sky and disappeared from history. He was a lone mercenary who inspired both fear and admiration. He is the man I seek. And so, with the words of Solo Wing, the curtain rises. It was a cold and snowy day. Listen up. We have a situation on our hands. A major squadron of Belkin bombers has crossed our border, and it's making its way here, to Belay Air Base. Apparently, they intend to attack our base in an initiative to gain hegemony over the entire Republic of Ustio. Belay Air Base is our country's last line of defense. If our base falls, no one will be left to stop Belka from taking over Ustio. Your mission is to destroy the squad of bombers and defend our base. Belka's invasion must end here.
It all started on that snowy day. My first impression was... He had potential. Thanks to you, Belka's attack on Valet Air Base has failed. Your efforts will not go unrewarded. Your actions may well decide who wins the Belkan War. I, for one, will be counting on it. The Belkin War is shrouded in mystery. But now, a decade after the peace accords, a portion of the records was finally released. I quickly got a hold of it. Wanting more details, I acquired information from unknown sources. There was a reason for my obsession. The roots of the war lie in the Belkin Federal Law Review that took place in 1988. Belka, suffering from economic strife, permitted its eastern territory to secede, and the Republic of Ustio was born. But Belka's economic troubles did not subside. Meanwhile, taking advantage of the situation, the world superpower Osea continued to flourish. Amidst the economic panic, an extreme right-wing party took power within Belga, aiming to restore strength and stability to the nation. And on March 25, 1995, with the discovery of natural resources in Ustio, Belka began to invade its neighbors. It was the beginning of the Belkan War. Unprepared, each country fell quickly before the might of the legendary Belkin Air Force. In just a few days, they occupied all territories except for the mountain range. In response, the occupied Ustio government military placed all their hopes on a joint operation between Osea and the foreign mercenary forces. This, of course, can be found in any history book. But I noticed a strange similarity in the materials I gathered. There were several accounts about a mercenary, all followed by the code word, demon. But most of the information was incomplete. Still, I was intrigued. I decided to pursue the history of the Balkan War through this mercenary. I was certain I would find something there. Would it be the hidden truth behind the war? or just another battlefield legend. I wasn't able to meet the mercenary himself. Actually, it's questionable if he ever did exist. But thanks to some old friends in the military, I was able to track down several individuals who knew him. Soloing is one such man. Regain control over Route 171, which runs through Arlen to secure a transit route for our ground troops. There are bridges along this route, three over the RA River, all heavily guarded by the Belkin Armored Corps. Securing this route is critical to Ustio's attack on the Belkin forces. Destroy the Belkin ground units blocking passage along this route, and secure the supply line between our forces and the Ocean Army. 